Hi, I'm Steve Rowe, CEO at Oak Knoll. I'm recording this video the afternoon of Thursday, March 28th. It will be uploaded and available to you by Friday, March 29th. The COVID update will be very brief. Uh, just as Kim reported last week, we have no positive cases of COVID that we are aware of uh, within the Oak Knoll community, no residents and no staff. So hopefully we can continue to tell you that story week after week and eventually stop talking about COVID. Uh, but as of right now, we, we are not aware of any positive cases. Uh, Kim spoke a little bit last week about the clinic that she was trying to get arranged. She actually was successful. There will be a clinic uh, for the new vaccine or whatever, uh, whatever the current version of a vaccine is um, uh, on April 17th at both the East Campus and at the main campus. Uh, details of that will be in a written communication that will go out to everybody within the next couple of days. Uh, but April 17th, we will have a COVID booster slash vaccine slash update, whatever, however you want to think about it now, there will be clinics so that you can get another shot. Um, for those of you who made reservations for the Easter brunch this coming Sunday, Bruce asked me to let you know that it will be in the Oak Room rather than in the Hayden Community Room. Uh, we have lots of reservations, but we don't have so many reservations that it needs to be in the bigger space. Uh, and it's just much easier logistically to do that service in the Oak Room. Uh, so since the numbers uh, make sense, we will do that in the Oak Room rather than the Hayden Community Room. Uh, hopefully all of you will enjoy some nice time with family and friends uh, and a very good brunch this Sunday. Um, Kim and I have spent time uh, this week responding to questions that came from the state uh, after we submitted the uh, certificate of need application. Uh, so they have the application. Uh, they've asked additional questions which were really simple to answer and Kim will get those uh, responses submitted probably today yet. Uh, and then we're just waiting for a, a meeting with the council that decides on this application. The meeting dates are either May 16th or May 17th. Uh, so that'll be the next step with the certificate of need application to try to get additional licensed nursing beds. We are planning to move forward with a project regardless of whether we can call it licensed nursing beds or we need to call it memory care assisted living or something different. Uh, that is yet to be determined, but ideally we get the approval for the additional beds and can move forward with that plan. Uh, so, so May 16th and 17th are the next key dates related to that process. We are also in, in uh, very soon going to be selecting a general contractor to build the building for us. There are two potential firms that we will interview on Wednesday, April 10th. Uh, so, so that's uh, just kind of another step along the way. I want to thank all of you who asked about my uh, poker tournament experience. I talked about that a couple of weeks ago, and then it's like on, on that Friday, I uh, went down to play day one of this, of this two-day poker tournament. Unfortunately, I did not make day two. I had a great time, though. I played for somewhere uh, between three and a half to four hours, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. In order to survive day one, I would have needed to play for 10 hours, and I didn't quite make that. I had a really good hand, but the person I was playing against had a better hand and I was out of the tournament with one bad decision. So it happens. I will continue to try to do uh, better uh, in, in additional tournaments. And the next, uh, the next time that I, that I have a big tournament will probably be in uh, early June. I've got a trip scheduled to Las Vegas. The World Series of Poker is happening from kind of mid-May all the way until about mid-July. There's a whole bunch of tournaments. There's over 100 tournaments uh, during the course of the World Series. I've picked out a couple that I want to play in, and so I will be in Las Vegas the first week of June to play uh, poker. So should be fun. I'll let you know how I do. Um, 
we have at least one more women's basketball game to, to watch and look forward to this weekend. On Saturday, they will play Colorado in Albany, New York. Uh, my voice is still recovering from Monday night's game. I did too much yelling. I haven't learned yet, uh, but it's like it was great fun. It's like uh, it's been so much fun to watch the women's team through the course of the last couple of years. Uh, and hopefully uh, we will continue to see uh, good basketball for two more weekends yet so uh, go Hawks on on that for Saturday um, lastly I want to tell you that I'm going to be out of the office again uh, starting tomorrow and I'll be gone all of next week uh, when April and I were away in January for our vacation we kind of uh, talked about how uh, how short life can be and how un unpredictable life can be uh, and that we just really need to do some things to take care of ourselves and, and enjoy our time away uh, together. Um, my mom died when she was 47 years old. Uh, April's dad was diagnosed with ALS uh, just a couple of years after he had retired and he wasn't able to travel and do some of the things that, that they had always planned on doing in their retirement. And it's uh, kind of silly that I have hundreds of hours of vacation and uh, and don't take it as frequently as I could. So, uh, so we are going to try to do a better job of getting away periodically through the course of this year. Uh, and Friday morning we leave for Cozumel. So we will be on the beach again in the ocean and snorkeling in Cozumel. It's fantastic snorkeling there. Uh, and I hope that I will have some pictures to share with you when I get back. Um, I think that's it for, for this update. I hope you're all doing well. Go Hawks, and we'll see you in two weeks.